Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Career Mode here today for part 26 for the Dutch Grand Prix Coming off the back of the summer break we come into some for a run of consecutive podiums of three in a row stretching back to Silverstone But if we come in now to qualify and we come around the final corner and up to the line we cross it and the first lap absolute stinker so we will need to go again and by the end of the session we have gone again with purple sector one we set our personal pet sector two and we're a bit late with the DRS there as we cross the line and we get ourselves at P3 it was the end of the session now we're kind of stable we have Bottas is up there as well as we round the final corner, that banked corner we found just over a tenth. We crossed the line and we are going to start the race before this go. For years, the people of Zandvoort fondly recalled the Grand Prix they used to hold. And then came along Max Verstappen. Across Europe, the Orange Army sold seats and seats and seats. And now they have their own Grand Prix. It is time for race day in the Netherlands. Zambor circuit then, 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout the 2.6 mile lap. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Brown, Hamilton, Bottas, Verstappen, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Stroll, Gasly, Magnussen, Fernando Alonso, Joe, Albert, De Vries, Liam Lawson, Sergeant, Perez, the reserve driver, and Enzo Fittipaldi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. With me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. Why don't we kick off by discussing Max Verstappen? And we welcome Anthony Davidson to the commentary box once again. And this driver had a great win last time out carry that momentum into this one. It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. So we're here on the grid then. We're going to be doing the usual one-stopper, starting on the sauce, going on to the mediums. And hopefully, I mean, it's a very hard track to overtake on. So we're going to need the start. So hopefully we can do that as we line up on the grid then. It's a very short run also to the first corner as well of course. So it's going to be key to a good start here. So let's get into it then as the five red lights come on. It's lights out and away we go and we've got a great launch off the line. We're already past the two. The Ferrari and the McLaren. We're going to try and sail it around the outside of George Russell into the first corner. He drops us off and slams the door firmly shut. Our championship rival. It's been a little while since we've gone wheel to wheel with our fellow Brits. But it's going to be hard to get the job done from now on. But we will have to throw everything at him that we could possibly can. At the end of lap two though, we are falling back a little bit into the clutches of the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz as we try to go to the outside of Sainz and we get the job done and keep him behind for now. We need to be careful though because George, you may have seen, is on the mediums. So we need to get this job done hopefully quite quickly so we can get away because he's going to be going longer. But Sainz comes again at us to the inside of turn one. He once again hold it round the outside, but Sainz is further alongside this time. But we keep it pinned round the outside. And it is job done then. And we keep it behind once more. And this was kind of just our race now. We got away from Sainz. We were just in a George Russell train basically. We just couldn't get close enough in the key parts of the track 
to have a go at our championship rival we were just kind of stuck so we're going to skip all the way on to lap 11 because we were just in, caught up in a loop where the Red Bull of Sergio Perez is pulling off and out of the race in terms of the Red Bull pulling off and out of the race it's the right Red Bull in terms of the crowd here because they would not want to see Max Verstappen be out of the Grand Prix as we're still on the back hunting at George Russell but the tyres did start to wear we did drop back at one point as we go down into turn one we just can't get close enough to the Mercedes and now as we did start to drop back a bit going on to lap 14 and we've got a DRS issue as we go into the first corner the DRS is stuck open here is Angle we've had a shocker what I've never had that issue ever in any F1 game and if this was to happen in the next race at Monza would be very helpful but in a high downforce track like here very very tricky the back of the car now has absolutely no grip whatsoever we just were having to back off so much it was looking promising this race but now it's tricky just to keep this car in a straight line because we're losing all our downforce at this part of the track very helpful on the straight nowhere else though and at the end of lap 14 but it's so tricky to keep the car in a straight line we've been overtaken by the ferrari of science as we are oh we're gonna try and get that position back we've got the drs now so it's helpful here there's down the inside but too far back but this is where we need to be careful feather the throttle try not to spin up the rears as now we head up into that bank the corner we're just trying anything to keep the car in a straight line as we go through now we're having to back off massively because we've got no no grip in a way Hamilton down our inside we've got nothing to defend with the DRS is still stuck open I was hoping it may sort itself out but it doesn't appear to be happening but at the end of lap 15 then we are going to come into the pits to make a one and only stop and maybe the team can do something about it in the pit stops possibly as we come into the pits now as we look back was on the camera and without even touching anything it is shut it is shut so that's going to be helpful now we're going to have some sort of rear end but that does mean that we've lost DRS for the rest of this race we can't use DRS and round the track like here very difficult so we can have to get creative with moves and that's exactly what we've done on the hearts of Nick DeFries we were ahead and we need to try and find something in this race is that the inside of Albon we try at turn one we just haven't got the straight line speed and the help of DRS anymore so into the bank corner we go we're trying around the outside we've got a great launch off of the bank corner Albon still needs to pit with side by side like we did with Lewis Hamilton through the kings and the curves of the banked corners here at Zanvoort Albon just about hangs on but we're not giving up round the outside and it's his job done then on the tie driver hopefully we can pull a bit more this day is us hunting down the McLaren of Lando Norris we had decent pace on, on these mediums we just couldn't get the moves to stick in a way but Lando's coming at back at us but we get the job done there and it's game over and maybe we could catch those ahead as now this is Fernando Alonso he's on the hards Fernando Alonso slowing down and Fernando Alonso pulls off to the side of the track and he's out to the Dutch Grand Prix not good there as now the final lap of this Dutch Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton leads George Russell's second Mercedes in terms of the championship should really swap these two around but you can't deny Lewis Hamilton a victory and he does win the Dutch Grand Prix George Russell second Carlos Sainz 
finish is third and we are going to recover then from our DRS issue to finish fourth our first non-win since Austria a non-podium since Austria okay pick up rubber and bring it home so it's a win then of four whether they could pull off the win here in Zandvoort, but they've done so in spectacular style. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? I want to know if that was as easy as it looked. An absolute masterclass today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So it's a win then for Lewis Hamilton, a 1-2 for Mercedes. We are not even going to bother talking about Aaron Barnes, if you remember back to Spa. So fourth place, I think it's a fairly decent recovery after that DRS issue for us in the end. And our first time, we haven't won as a team because Yuki won in Hungary and Austria as well. So it's the first time we haven't won a race since Spain. Very long run then for us. And that's that. Two retirements then in Alonso and Perez. In terms of the championship, our lead has been cut down a little bit, but we're still there. We've still got a fairly decent lead, 22 points to be exact. In terms of the constructors then, Mercedes have also closed the gap. So that's been your Dutch Grand Prix then. A very difficult race for us, having to fight back after that DRS issue, but it made the race a bit more interesting. Maybe the win was possible, but George, I think, was, had a very wide Mercedes today. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time in Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. Goodbye.